food. The great equalizer of all men. Matter of fact, this is always the last piece of edible food in my house. Every time I see that this is the last thing left in the cupboard, then all I know, then I know that all I have is this can of food and then a bunch of science experiments in the refrigerator. And then I face the dilemma. Do I go to the grocery store to get more food? Do I eat the last piece of food I own? Or do I go without food till the next day? And you know what? If I can't produce more food here in the next couple of cycles, our duplicants are going to have to make that hard decision each and every day. And I'm not sure all of them are going to make it. So here's the point where I throw the can and I really, 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 really hope it doesn't break open. Here we go! What? Hold up, I gotta show you guys what just happened. Alright, look at this thing. I put down a little bit of preparation. You know, this is intro security here. I got some blankets. And, uh, look at where that can ended up. I mean, how do I, I, I probably couldn't do this again if I tried. Nope. All right, so that was all mildly interesting. But now let's take a look at what we got going on here. Lots and lots of mealwood I'm attempting to grow. However, it's not really working out. A lot of this stuff here is under pressure. Look at that, only a hundred and, it, there's no gas. I need more gas. Now. Am I bringing in more gas? I can't even remember. It's been a little while since I did some stuff here. I am pumping in more carbon dioxide, so that's going to work here. I think the big thing, though, my thoughts, I was like, oh, how am I going to actually solve this back when I was playing it last time? And the original idea was to always build this into a giant farm. I'm just going to have to do that. If I take a look at the germs, they're kind of heavy in here. But I think we're just going to have to suck it up and go with it. And since uh, mealwood is about the only thing I can reliably grow a whole lot of, that's what I'm going to do. I should have enough dirt to survive long enough, you know, to at least try to grow some other stuff. So that's what I'm going for right here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant down a bunch of mealwood. We're just going to, we're going to see what happens. I mean, we're not even going to, we're not even going to hold back a little bit. There we go. All of that. This will probably get consumed, or shall we say a lot of this will probably get consumed and end up like carbon dioxide. So it, we may end up losing a lot of pressure in here as a lot of duplicates make their way into this area. Oh, which means I should probably account for that with some sort of algae, deoxid algae deoxidizer. Yeah. If we can go ahead and make a preparation for that. So the other thing is going to be making sh making sure I dig this stuff up, and get rid of that, and hopefully this gets built very, very quickly. I do have it on a priority level 6, so let's just hope. I think I'm going to go ahead and rearrange that just a little bit, so that it's a little bit better prepared. I can put the food just below those guys there. So I'll make the horizontal line right there. And then right there, and then go down a little bit more. Eh, don't do that one. So the growth cycle is three cycles long. So even if I get this stuff planted, it's still going to be a couple cycles before I ever get any food out of it. We don't have any seeds available here, so that's kind of a problem. So on top of this, I also need an expedition to go get some more sleet wheat. And that can just be found anywhere, so that'll be up here. Go ahead and dig that up. Make this a nice high priority, right? Well, higher. Let's see, is there any other cold biomes around that I can go and get some food out of? Not a lot. Sleet wheat grain times 25. So actually, if I come over here and dig into this area, which might take a bit of effort, I can actually get some decent food there. Sleet wheat grain and more sleet wheat grain right there. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll try to dig this down here to get to that. Also, Wolframite down there, so there's some more reasons to go down there. There's 10 there, another 18 there. So it looks like I can do all right on Sleet Wheat for a little while. Not a long time, but there is like 25, 25. There's just a lot of Sleet Wheat grain around. So luckily, I do have some reserves. 
I think the big challenge here, oh my gosh, look at how much stuff. There's sweet wheat grain times 72. So the big challenge here is to actually get into this area and have enough oxygen in that area. So, how much algae do I have? <sighs> Not a huge amount, but I'm going to have to make it work. So I'm going to need to have a... Uh... Oh, okay. Becomes active when a gaseous element is detected. Okay, cool. I can use the new sensor here. So what I'll do is I'll put that sensor right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hopefully just turn on the deoxidizer down here when I sense that there's carbon dioxide on that one spot right there. That way I can create this little pocket of oxygen and not have to, you know, overpopulate this area with oxygen. All right, so let's see what I have for cooking ingredients right here or just edible things. I have a bunch of lice loaf. I do have some frost buns and some meal lice, but not a ton. If I look at seeds, <laughs> I have a bunch of mealwood seeds, yes. And I have 351 sleet wheat grain. So how much food does that give me? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's like one cycle. So do I have enough food to go straight mush bar? I don't have enough water, do I? So 100,000 calories equals 125 mush bars. Oh my gosh. Um, that's 9.3 tons per cycle, which means after nine cycles, I would burn up all of my dirt. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh, man. Okay, so what's next? Water. I need more water. I'll deconstruct this and put a little thing down there to start sucking some of that up. We're also going to go ahead and make this over here into mesh tile. I know I'm doing a lot of planning to begin with, but if I don't do the planning, it's all going to blow up in my face. Well, it may still all blow up in my face. At least I'll have planned for the explosion, though. That'll be mesh tile, and then we'll open this up up here. So what this will give me is some relatively cool water, hopefully. As long as I put like a door there. Mm -hmm. and then a hydro sensor down here. What is that, above? Something like this. <sighs> okay, let's see what happens. All right, so I'll have to apologize for the slideshow. We are currently in the beta build of the game which has some extra stuff running in the background, which kind of makes it a little bit slower. So that is one potential problem right there. The other problem is I don't have power to all of my cooking stations. No, no, I think they're okay. All right, here goes everybody over here to the left to start cooking things up. If we get the chance, let's do a little bit of mopping. Otherwise that's gonna make for some stress. And anywhere and everywhere I can go ahead and plant that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Right off the bat, and hopefully that's nice high priority, too. Seven. Copy settings. There you go. Looks like the this stuff is getting built quite quickly, so that's good. See that there's a lot of traffic over here, and some things are getting built down there. Everybody should be able to go through here, so that's fine. Looks like we were able to dig this up, so a little bit of water can find its way down here. That's good. One of the other things we might be able to do now, or... I know that we can do is that we can go ahead and make a cooling loop at some point. We're not going to do that in this episode though, because we got to survive first before any of that happens. But we can create one of those cooling loops where that's just going to go around and around and we'll be able to do exactly what we need to do to cool things down. So it, I know I did not explain that at all. Uh, what I was trying to say is we can have like a hydrogen loop that goes through a cold biome that cools down and then goes through here with the radiant pipes since we have those or we don't necessarily need the radiant pipes we have the radiant pipes in the cold biome part of it all right so one thing i'm glad i'm seeing here is that the frost buns are getting cooked up and cooked up fast insufficient resource i'm gonna go ahead and flip this to a mush bar i'll worry about how much dirt i have later well that is like the the last thing he ever said, and then his base got destroyed. Um, as long as I don't convert too much of it, I should be able to, you know, turn this polluted water into steam relatively easy. 
if I just power through that real quickly. Ah, there we go. Oh no, more dupes, <sighs> more food. All right, let's choose a duplicate here. Interests, like to farm. Irritable bowels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like to build and you like to cook. Whoa, we'll master them 50 times better. All right, I really need fast chefs. Welcome to my base, Bert. If I remember the right button, control F2. Yes, please don't have quit. Oh crap, we got an extra dupe. I went four. My bad. At like the worst time possible. And it's not like I can just kill off a dupe because that's going to stress everybody out. Well, one did die. Um, rest in peace, Bert. Whoa, Bert just got reincarnated. Welcome back. Um, so yeah, that's what just happened. The next time around, I'll only spawn two. <laughs> if we make it that far. So that means... Ah, we need some more names from the Patreon supporters. Shyam, welcome to the base. You can take over Bert's body. Thank you for your donation. For supporting the channel. We also got Robert as well. Sorry, Chris, you're going to end up stinky. And who's going to become Harold? Christian. Welcome to the base. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. Matter of fact, I've updated some stuff over there. All right, so just to give a quick update on the whole Patreon thing, I've added some new levels here. They don't necessarily have any rewards, but I did add them. So hopefully for those of you guys that are supporting this channel uh, over there on Patreon, that you guys will end up in this sort of thing already unless there's something I got to do but hopefully you guys will get there also there is going to be a support button that may or may not happen anytime soon on the YouTube channel if I get accepted for the program and these will be the badges that you guys can get here depending on how many months you are supporting on the channel so that's pretty cool I got some new art for that which is really not that fancy <laughs> but hey it's something the big thing here is the new goal that I'll be talking about more hopefully in the next week or so. And that is the push to gain enough funds to go as a full-time content creator here on YouTube. That's a big, big deal. I'll be explaining my business plan here hopefully in the next week or so. Um, including this channel, the content I do here, plus the games and other games I want to cover. Which is uploading on a regular schedule, making this my primary focus. Also adding in the 3D printer stuff because that adds financial value and it also adds you know some engineering value that I can continue to learn and build up my skills that I have been curating over the last seven years or so and also be able to have an avenue to share that with you guys as well but more on that later um, but that's a big deal so maybe check that out if you guys are looking to support this channel and maybe you want to chip in that way then thank you guys so much for your support all right back to this horrible episode where everybody's gonna starve to death it is my job to destroy this base. No, okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see here. What happens? What's going on? Are you guys building? Why aren't you building this, bruh? It's priority level six. All right, let's copy these settings here. Copy settings, copy settings. Woo! Okay, we got to cancel this guy because it's just not going to work. Oh, there was a different plan down there. And that never happened. Cancel that building. Cancel that building. Yes. And replace it with the all-important food. Ah, why aren't you? Oh, okay. Look at Bilu, just completely, f completely confused on what to do. There we go. Copy these settings. Plant it all up. Give me that food. All right, so how are we doing up here on the water? Obviously, I'm going to need a lot of water. We have some automation wire. Got some crazy stuff going on with chlorine over there. Look at that. Oh, they're retrieving the sleet wheat. Oh, look at how much is up there. 18, one, <laughs> one. Remember that thing I did? Yeah, yeah, it was it was naturally growing sleet wheat right up here. Oh no, no, never mind. It didn't plant itself. And now I'm just picking it up to eat. Well, you know, you gotta survive one way or another. So that's what's happening. And would you build this already? I need that. We gotta crank these sub priorities up. Probably level seven. Oh, speaking of which, big deal. Empty pipe button is now here. Yes. So if you need to empty the pipes, we can do so. Hopefully without flooding the base. I have yet to try it, but 
I think that's the goal. I need more... Stations, furniture, granite tables, or cots. Boom, boom. Okay, here we go. Sculpting blocks. Yes. Oh no. Who's dying? Azrael! What are you doing? Why, why would you go back in here? This place is horrible. Look at how hot it is. It's like 60 degrees up in here. Oh, speaking of which, look, we dug through here. Yes, so we can get to that. Temperature wise, nothing's really happening. Okay, cool. Copy the food. Plant it as fast as possible. Nice. And look at all this liquid that we now have down here. This is awesome. Okay. Priority, 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 priority. Level six. It's going to be a bad day for somebody down there. Stress is definitely going to go up, but the immune systems are surprisingly hanging in there. Like, Ren is the only one showing any signs of illness. If I look at the germ overlay, you can see that the germs are mostly just being, you know, destroyed by the duplicates that are inside the, you know, they just kill it off. Now, all of this travel has reduced the amount of oxygen over here. Oh, so now it's now low over here, even though I have two deoxidizers that are struggling to output their gas because of maximum pressure. So what I'm seeing... Did I start with 50,000 calories? Crap, I should have should have looked closer. Uh-oh. All right, so algae. I do have a lot more algae now, or a little bit more. Let's throw down another deoxidizer right there, and we're going to power that with this same system down here. Ooh, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do. There's so much chaos going on here. You go down here and do that. Okay, you know why people can't go in there? It's because of these exosuits. Just disable it. Don't even worry about it. And for some odd reason, my gas filter, huh, like it reset. Or maybe it was never set to begin with. Nah, that's wasteful. Interesting that that would break. Mm, it looks like this natural gas generator needs to be converted over to, um, gold amalgam so somebody's gonna have a bad day going in there and doing that but yeah you can see it's having some issues look at how much food yes we might survive meal ice for life man nothing but meal ice that is until we run out of dirt but hey Okay, so we're going to be starting off the next cycle here with 34,000 calories matter of fact if I look at the food um Previous calories. Net minus 14,000. So we still lost food. All right, so here's what I needed to do with the water. Now that I remember this, this here is flowing up out of those guys, becoming clean. And what I was going to do is drop it into here so that I can suck it up and use it. Because if I don't have enough water, well, <laughs> yeah, I die. And then I needed water that's coming from these toilets. I also need water that is flowing down from here, which I do have. And I totally forgot about this, so now I've got a lot of extra water. I got water everywhere. However, this water is at 22 degrees Celsius. So I should only pump it out when it gets cool. Cool to what temperature? Um, yes, yes. Right here, this is where it needs to go. My pipe works are ridiculous. Look at this. It's just, is anybody even understanding where water is going? I don't even know. So it's important that I maintain that temperature relatively cool. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go ahead and build it down. Now that I've pretty much already got that food set. Anyway, then how do I, how do I? So we're gonna go in and over and down. It's getting fun now, here we go. Boom, boom. Blah. Oh, you know what? I might be able to empty the, the liquid pipes like this. Um, yeah, I think that might work. Hmm. We'll try that. So one thing I could do is if I use the hot water I can cook with hot water. I mean, most people cook with hot water. 
<laughs> well, that's a lot of liquid flowing around. Let's see what happens. This poor base. I mean, would you just take a moment to admire the the absolute amount of chaos that has happened over the last 75 cycles? <laughs> we made it to cycle 75, though. <laughs> All right. My goal, in case you're wondering, is to make it to 100, cycle 100. But if I have lazy people like Flash Fire here who went to bed when, you know, the day started, I don't know if that's going to happen. Come on, Flash. Get back to work. Maybe that's because Flash is feeling a little bit ill. He's actually the second most sick person in my base. I mean, I would really hope that this is enough food. Also, we're just now starting to harvest a little bit of the bristle blossoms. Yay! Priority level six, though. Turn it up, people. Hypothermia. Who's dying? Harold! What happened to all my clean water? Oh, crap. I keep forgetting about stuff. <sighs> Automation. Thermal sensor. There you go. I also need an AND gate. Okay, so I've got a low resource of water. Just because we're not really pumping as much as we could. So I'm going to make sure I put a liquid vent right here just to kind of get that stuff down in there. What a slideshow! I'm hitting a massive 10 frames per second. I guess it's time to upgrade to the uh, quad Titan Z setup. So I can crank out those frames. I'll start running this game with some artificial intelligence as well. That's always a good plan. Copy that. Yep, there we go. Come on. Come on. Plant that sucker. There's still more. Plant it. Now who's cold again? Marie! Why are you so cold? Oh, because it's negative 40 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's barely anything at all. Actually, what is that in Fahrenheit? What? So if my hot end goes to 220 degrees Celsius, that's 428 degrees Fahrenheit? Holy moly, that's hot. Colony requires medical base. Oh, no. Um, does anybody even use that? Try to put another one down here. Okay, so I'm out of meal lice. Do I have bristle berries at this point? Uh, not enough to even stop production. Hey, look at the calories. They're actually going up. We're at 45,000. Yes! We've yet to harvest my massive mealwood farm over here on the left. But there will be a day where all of this is harvestable. So we're at 38%. So uh, two more cycles. If I can make it two more, then that'll be a success. What do we got going on down here? Come on, you guys can build this. All you got to do is finish this. Everybody's suffocating. And dying of hypothermia. Oof, wow, this is like super cold up here. Maybe you guys should uproot this. Maybe that's what it is. Get those wheeze warts out of there. And then drop them down here where they're going to make a difference. Matter of fact, you probably want to drop them in here. Oh, everybody's going to suffocate to death. Don't do it. Woo, it's getting bad. Ah, automation wires. Brah, I boxed myself out. Stupid automation wires. Who's, anybody still suffocating? No? Okay, we're okay. You're just eating the bristle blossom all by itself. Oh, you know what? That, uh, that's actually a decent amount. Looks like I have enough power left to where I can set up a couple of these pharma chambers here. We'll see. Hopefully that doesn't tax my system too much. I don't have enough oxygen down here. These units are not even running. Okay, so I need to make an adjustment here because I'm not producing enough oxygen. Now, I do have enough oxygen up here, but the point is I really got to get it all the way down here. And that's where the current issue is. I do have some carbon dioxide in this area. It's at some decent pressure, too. Thing is, if I get rid of that carbon dioxide, then the plants aren't going to grow. So really, there shouldn't be a lot of dupes down here, but for some reason there is. And they end up suffocating a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it too much, though. If I disable this system right here for a little while... I think what's happening is that these exosuits are sucking up a lot of oxygen. So I'm just going to turn that off for a bit. So at this point, there's really not a lot of reasons to have duplicates inside of this area until they're ready to harvest. Um, so I'm going to set that back to auto. 
and they'll have to go through the exosuit system. I want to make sure I have exosuits delivered here so that I can actually do that. All right, so one of the big things is this natural gas generator just got deconstructed. So I need to rebuild it with gold amalgam and then use the bridge. Got to make one of those and replace that so that I can feed both of these systems here. This has run out of power down there, and that's a big problem because it reduces the amount of water I have. So at this point, I'm going to stop making mush bars and go back to making a nice slice loaf. So this detects carbon dioxide, right? Which it should. Then that'll turn on, which is going to be sweet. New little sensor there. Look at how happy Meep is. It's just the most jolly person ever. The stress is surprisingly low considering everything that's going on. I'm down to 8%. How about that? Oh, wait, somebody's suffocating. Oh, suffocating in the bath. Well, that happens more often than you might expect. True life fact, I have cleaned so many toilets that I have learned that I can do it in 45 seconds. Now, the reason I can do it in 45 seconds is because I can reliably hold my breath for about that long. So if you do it, you just spray it down, you get it going, you know, exit the stall, take a deep breath, go back in for the next one. That's the trick, guys, 45 seconds. If you can clean your toilet that fast, then you too don't need to suffocate every time you go to the bathroom. I don't know where this is, I, where am I going with that? Ugh, the things, the things I talk about in life and power and oh my gosh, look at this spaghetti. You guys are talking about how it needs to be put out of its misery. Almost, not quite yet. Hey, look at this. We're positive in the food department. It was, what was yesterday's report? Okay, I just want to see one positive food report. Negative 5,000. You know what? That isn't half bad. Hey, look, I only consumed 92,000. That was actually kind of a light day for me. Look at that cycle though. 143,000. I think my dupes are now on a diet, actually. They're, they're not eating as much as they have in the past. You know what that means? They realize they're on their last can of food. Ha! Plus, this is kind of madness down there. So is this thing working as expected? Yeah, look at that! No, oh, wait, 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 where's the oxygen overlay? See? It ran, and then they're like, oh hey, look, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna catch my breath. And then it detects that there's some carbon dioxide and it runs again. This probably should have been placed a little bit higher. It's only set up though to just create this safety pocket. I'm just glad I could fit something from the new system into this episode. Which means how much has dropped under this bottom spot? 72 sleet wheat grain. I'm doing real good. Ah, uh, tip that I'm slowly learning here is not to build ladders too tall because what duplicates end up doing is they end up needing to catch their breath and they drop whatever they have all the way to the bottom. You want to create landings that they can go up. Ooh, I have 727? Hey, look at this. My sleet wheat count has gone up. I'm now up to 435. Yes. This is pretty level 6, people. Get on that thing. No, it's 7, brah. Get on that now. Not yesterday, not today, not the day before. Bonnie's gonna blow. She's gotta go to the bathroom. But will she make it? Dun 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 dun. That is a long run to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so I can build one of these guys right here for medicine. That way I can make some stuff that'll hopefully help out Flash Fire here, who's kind of has a low immune system. Not real low, it's at 80%, but could be better. And this should be the cycle where I end up with some more mealwood. Look at that, 90%. This is the one. This is where we go in and we harvest everything. Hmm. With these natural gas generators out of commission, uh, I don't have power available to run my water sieves. I don't have a backup in place for that. So I've cranked up the priority on that stuff to make sure it gets up and running. So all of these are having a problem with irrigation now. And that's really interesting because I thought it was working beforehand and it was just flowing from one to another, but it seems like I almost have to go down and then back up. I wouldn't think that it would need to do this, but it looks like it does. 
need to happen. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and do this number. And we're going to deconstruct all of these liquid pipes, unfortunately. Which means all of this water, whoa, is going to come flowing out of here. Which means a boatload of duplicates are going to find their way. Holy cow, how many duplicates do I got? Wow, everybody's jumping in on this. <laughs> well, if there was oxygen in here before, it's definitely not here anymore. I don't know why I had... Maybe the, I don't need to deconstruct that and this just works. I don't care so long as I get water to my plants. All right, looks like this guy, uh, at least this one's running, so that's good. And I've got a fair amount of harvesting going on with the mealwood over here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up so, since today's gonna be harvest day. Yes, come on now. Look at all this mealwood. Mmm. More duplicates. Hey, at least this time I only have to pick up two. Want another Bert? Like, no. Not, not good right now. Tidy digging ranch, anemic. Ada, welcome to the base. And we have ourselves another stinky. Ruigi, welcome to the base. And who else do we have? Leon, welcome to the base as well. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. All right. I think we've reached a new level of, of lag. <laughs> but so far, I think it's working pretty good. Look at all this food. No, don't burn. Okay, yeah, you can burn up as long as you get that belt. I'm quite okay with that. The war against calories. I think I might win at least this round. Oh, I'm even able to harvest the dust caps as well. Come on, some of these micro mushers aren't running. Deliver the meal lice. I can make a couple of these vitamins. Seriously, look at all this mealwood. The food's going up. And yet there's so much more to harvest. Aha! I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of strategy in that, but sometimes brute force on mealwood is... <laughs> It'll get you from one spot to another, I guess. That is until I run out of dirt. So now I should probably start to focus on dirt a little bit. Probably need to work on making this system down here run off of water. So now I do have some situations where I can go ahead and start to acquire water that is cooler from up here and actually cool it down. So that was able to be built so I can focus on that. Mm, and I can focus on maybe cooling the temperature down inside of here because, you know, things just keep getting hotter. We're up to 46 degrees Celsius up in this area. That's not very comfortable. And maybe continue to expand into this area because there's a lot of opportunity out here, plus a lot of things like algae, which is going to be nice and useful. Although maybe I should try to make more micro mushers and cooking stations and not rely entirely on mealwood at this point. Then again, I'm not even sure how I get out of it at this point. Who's making a mess? Oh no. Oh man, just peeing all over the food. Come on now. Ah, oh, all right. Who else, why are you guys making a mess? What's wrong with the pipes? Is the pipes broken? Oh no, oh no! Oh man, three people are making a mess. Everybody's making a mess. Hey, this one actually works out pretty good right there. Now they're just watering plants. Oh no, uh oh man. A lot of mopping need to, needs to happen right now. No, ah, no, who else is flooding? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like I got to do some more work on the plumbing system, but that'll have to happen here in the next episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out. Oh, and if, er if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that.